Hi, and thanks for joining me. I'm Hugh Carville, and this is Island Kitchen. We are in the beautiful island of Mallorca at Mood Beach Restaurant, next to the famous Portales Marina. In this series, we're going to show you how to make great, fresh, and healthy food that looks and tastes delicious, but also is easy to cook as well. All wrapped up with our Mediterranean style. So let's meet our chef today, Les Regan. How are you doing, Les? Good morning, you. How's things? Not too bad. What a beautiful setting you have here. It's great, right here in front of the sea. No better place to enjoy some fresh Mediterranean seafood. And that's what you do here, it's Mediterranean food, yeah, is it? Yeah, we work a lot with uh, shellfish, good caught fish from the Mediterranean, uh, farmed fish, great flavors, great meats, Spanish cuisine, uh, the best you can get. Perfect, so what are you gonna make for us today? Today we're gonna make a real Spanish treat. It's gonna be gamba salajillo, and we're gonna use, which is English for prawns and garlic. And we're gonna use all Mediterranean fresh ingredients, everything you can buy here straight in Mallorca. And where does this dish come from? It's from Mallorca, isn't it? It's originally a Galician dish, but we're gonna use uh, Mallorquin prawns, red prawns specifically. They're absolutely beautiful, Which are amazing they? flavor. They're sweeter than most Atlantic hot prawns, and they're gonna work great in this dish. Perfect. So, we can start. As you can see, I have a pan, which is very important to get it smoking before you start. If you're cooking at home, like we do in the restaurant, you need to turn your fan on, you need to open the windows, you need things to happen. Because we don't want the prawns to stew, we're not making a soup. We want them to fry, we want the flavours to come together really quickly. As you can see here, we've got garlic, we've got chilli, we've got salt, we've got the prawns, we've got great fresh uh, pressed olive oil, the best quality virgin olive oil, and some brandy which is going to give it a nice little sweet twist at the end. So as you can see the pan is smoking. I have got these red prawns which have come fresh from Alcudia this morning. You can see how nice they are. Peeled, which are really easy to peel when you get them from the supermarket. I'll just show you how. We're going to use four, which is perfect for two people as a starter. Very easy to peel. As you can see, turn them upside down. Break at the legs. Peel all the way down to the end. Great, so once you have those ready, one, two, three, four. We're going to chop the garlic. Oil smoking, great flavors coming in. Garlic, we can use two, three pieces, depends how much you like. It's not a very garlicky dish. There's a lot of garlic going into it, but it's gonna caramelize the garlic, so it's gonna give it a beautiful sweetness, which is gonna work great with the prawns. So we can take the top off the garlic. We're just gonna slice it up real quickly like this. Take the top off again, slice it up. Me, personally, I love a lot of garlic. When I cook here, this dish in Mood Beach, we use a lot of garlic for the clients because it really makes, makes the oil into such a great, it's a caldo, more than an oil, it's a caldo, it's, it's a stock, it's its own sauce. Great knife skills there, I'll be cutting my fingers off by now, with me. Well, I've had some practice, so we're gonna go. Straight away, you can see, garlic is boiling in there, Ooh. frying, great. So as you can see, straight away, we're getting the flavors in there. Let's break up a dry chili, put it in there. Why Again, are you using dry chili? We're using it because we don't want it to be hot. Right. We want it to be sweet. Okay. Of course, if you really like the chili, you can go and put fresh stuff in there, make it a spicy dish, make it your own. Which is what Mediterranean cuisine is all about. It's about making it your own. Mm -hmm. Finding your own style. Right, so we have this boiling. Prawns are ready to go. You've got to be careful. You've got to get the windows open. You've got to get the fan on in the kitchen. Because this is a hot dish. It's cooked quickly. It smells gorgeous already. Straight away you can smell the garlic. Whew. Straight away. Those prawns are going to add such a sweetness. I'm cooking on a really high heat here, as you can see. Let's get this back up to where we want it to be. Okay, we're back. So, it's cooking, it's bubbling. You can see the heads of the prawns. I've left them on here. Why? Because in Spain, the head of the prawn is second to the tail, but only by a little bit, because that's got all the flavors inside. It's got all the juices inside. The Spanish people, they like to break the prawn, they drink the juice from Yeah, there. I've seen that happen, yeah. So this is gonna, all that flavor is gonna go straight inside there. I've never tried that, so maybe I will. Yeah, absolutely. So, as you can see, we're cooking away here, great. You can see the flavor is just coming. You can see the color change with the garlic. All we need, a little bit of parsley to finish, yeah? So what kind of parsley have you got here? We've got flat? We've got some flat and curly parsley. I uh, prefer the curly parsley. Why is that? Simply for this dish, when you're cooking, the, the flat is good to garnish with. You put it on the last minute fresh. Mm -hmm. The curly stuff chops really easy, chops really fine, and when it goes in there, it's gonna burst and the flavor is gonna go straight into that caldo. Beautiful. And that's what we want, because when we eat these prawns, the soup that's left at the end, we're gonna dip the bread in there, we're gonna get all the flavors out. And so why have we got lemons here? We're gonna pop a lemon in there. Are I we? love a lemon in it. It's not very traditional to do it, but 
up nice and fine that and not very traditional like i say let's get the garlic in but i like it i like that zesty flavor at mm. the end it really gives it another depth you know the colors are amazing aren't they already green we've got the green parsley we've got the prawns we've got the garlic we've got the beautiful olive oil all these colors coming together it's it's a one pot wonder it's a dish and it's got everything inside and it's so easy it's so easy already it's almost done here we go with a twist at the end normally in galicia they would use a nice dry white wine to finish this dish mm -hmm. what i like to do just to give it another depth of flavor is i get to use a little bit of brandy because it's going to give it a nice smoky texture at the end is this a spanish brandy this is a spanish brandy if you're working at home and you're using gas be careful because this is going to go on fire yeah, in yeah. the kitchen all the time we've got a lot of fires we're lighting these pans up the boys love it you know mm -hmm. and the clients love it when they walk past too so there you go we're almost ready the prawns you don't need to overcook them another thing with this dish is you can even turn them you can see they're cooked on that side you see them turning white here let me turn this over you can have a look it's white on this side white on this side all the flavors you see how this is not oil anymore this has become a caldo this has become its own stock it's become a soup it's become a sauce it's wonderful. Ready to serve. You put this on the table, two, three people, a bit of fresh bread, dip in there, enjoy the prawns, enjoy the sauce. It's wonderful. So let's recap on the ingredients you will need for gambas al gio. And for those of us that don't speak Spanish, that's prawns in garlic. Langstein prawns, fresh or frozen, fresh garlic, good extra virgin olive oil, dried chilies, chopped parsley, salt and pepper, and a shot of brandy, and a slice of lemon to serve. That's all you need to make a beautiful Mediterranean dish. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Island Kitchen. Until next time, from Les and myself, Hugh Carville. Goodbye.